Hi there, I'm Dr. L, and I'm part of the diagnostic team here at Fleur Pain Specialists. And today we'll be going through a rehab series with you. We'll be talking about things like posture, stretches, exercises, things that help manage your current pain right now, and things that help prevent pain from occurring in the future. So let's begin. What is the sacroiliac joint? Why do I have pain there? So SIJ or the SI joint is this essentially right here. This is your SI joint. Um, it's where the base of your lower back, this bone here called your sacrum, meets with this bone here called your ilium. These two bones come together fo forming a joint and this is essentially your SI joint, your sacroiliac joint. So it's right at the base of your lumbar spine. It's a large joint and is often uh, an area of high stress. As, as people, we stand straight up and on our two feet so a lot of the load generally will go through that SI joint region. It also has a, a connection between your low back. So it's a place where three points of weight bearing come together. And it's one of the most common joints that undergoes pain with things like standing, walking, going from sit to stand, and it can get locked, irritated and inflamed. Usually when you feel this pain it comes with prolonged sitting, prolonged standing, and you're in a position where you're straining it. So either flexed a lot when sitting down or even standing up, you're flexed too much in your lumbar spine. This affects that joint because there's very little movement in that joint and it's a very specific spot. Sometimes when we're standing, we may not find ourselves to be standing in a, a good posture. We may lean back or, or not really use the muscles to engage in our glutes to hold ourselves up. This can cause stress and compression into the joints and therefore over time this will irritate your your SI joint and other joints in your low back. There's a lot of ligaments that cover this area to provide structural stability and then a lot of muscles in this area as well. Essentially any muscle that attaches to the ilium or to the lumbar spine that attaches to this area can have an impact on the SI joint. So you can imagine your lower back muscles, hip muscles, glute muscles, and also the muscles at the front of your hips, including your hip flexors, can all have an impact on the SI joint. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for any questions about your healthcare, please contact our clinic directly.